feel like this time of year always happens way too fast. It seems like I just got into my summer routine. And now that we're near the end of July, it feels like I need to start thinking about school. I just need to mentally prepare for another semester of stress. But something that always gets me through going back to school is the back to school shopping. I love going school supplies shopping, looking for new clothes, organizing my desk, having a whole setup to do my homework and assignments. I feel like I try to romanticize school. If you make it more fun than it actually is, then it's a lot easier to get through the semester. So I am starting this back to school series with my back to school supplies shopping vlog that I do every year. I've done so many of these, but they're always so fun to film. So I'm gonna head to Target right now and we'll see what we could find. All right, I have my purse and I'm ready to go into Target. All right, I'm starting at the mechanical pencils. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love, are these pens or pencils? These are pencils. These are so nice looking. I love that one, the green. Usually these are the ones I get. They come in every color, that's so cute. I've never seen some of these colors before. I feel like this is the best one. I feel like my writing always looks so good. So I could get that. Oh, look at the blue one. Or I could get the cheaper ones. Usually what I get is one nice pack of mechanical pencils and then one cheaper pack because I always lose my pencils throughout the year and I don't want to lose the fancy ones but I could lose like the cheaper ones. Here's the cheaper pack I'm gonna get. And then here's the cute, nicer pack I'm gonna get. I love these, I'm so excited. All of these journals look so cute. I think I've had this one before. It's just a simple one. These are my favorite size notebooks. Oh, is this one brown? That is so cute. These are the green room notebooks. I've had these a few times. This is the one I had last year in this color, so I can't get this one again, but this one in brown looks really cute. It's a nice size. Oh my God, I love the brown. It's just lines. It's nice, I could write my homework in it and to-do lists, whatever I need to get done. I could also take notes in this, but I'll probably get a separate notebook for that. This one's cute too, it comes with three. I love the heart. This one's also cute. I really like this notebook. I feel like this is what I would take notes in. It's a nice size, college rules. It's the same brand as the other notebook. And I love the pink, that is so cute. I think I'm gonna get this one. You know what I really need is tape. I always run out of tape so fast. I could get the regular one. I love the double-sided tape, but that's kind of expensive. This one comes with three rolls and it's only $5, so I think I'm gonna get this. I'm also obsessed with post-it notes. I don't know why, I love writing lists and instead of doing it in a notebook all the time, I love writing on post-it notes and just like sticking them to my notebook onto a page. So I think I'm gonna get a pack. There are so many options. These are really cute. I mean, I love like the little messages and stuff, but how would I even write on that? That's so small. It's so cute though, even the colors. Oh my gosh, I wanna get it, but yeah, they're too small. These might be perfect actually, because I love writing lists and they already have like the check mark box in the line. I could get the mega pack. Why does it look like there's some missing? These are just little tabs that you put in your notes. You could like color organize your subjects. This one's nice too. I feel like I'd be so organized. It has the days of the week and then extra notes down here. All right, I'm gonna go with these. It comes with three colors and they're just plain. The colors are really cute. The price is not bad. I could write all my lists and everything I need. All right, here's what I have so far. We have a lot of good stuff. I'm already excited to start using these. Getting a whiteboard would be so fun, but I don't know how much I would write on it. Like one like simple like this or with the calendar. That could be so cute to hang on my wall. This is a good size though, and it comes with a magnet. I'll have to think about it, but it's not a bad price. Look at all the expo markers I could get. It would also be so satisfying to erase the board. That was always like the job I wanted in elementary school. These are the best erasers, especially for my drawing classes. So I'm gonna get a pack of these. Also, I just found these tapes, which are only a dollar for a roll. Instead of this, which is $5 for three, I'm gonna get two of these for $2. That's way better. I'm gonna get this green one, and I think I'm gonna get this blue one. 
I also don't need highlighters. I already have a few. I remember when these came out and they like erased. They're like erasable highlighters and I thought they were the coolest thing ever. These are also pastel. That's really cute. These also look really nice. These are markers. Look at those notes. These are so cute. They're $18, which is too expensive, but if I was taking like really amazing notes, I'd probably use these. And I already have a pencil sharpener, so I'm not gonna get one of these. All right, next is pens. I love getting pens. I usually write in pen more than pencil. And these, I feel like have always been the best. They just look the nicest and they last a while. So I think I'm just gonna get this pack. These are also really good though, and I like all the colors because I like taking my notes in different colors. I could get this pack. These are the nice pens in all these colors. Oh my God, it's $30, so I'm not gonna do that, but this is the dream pack. I also remember these being really good. All right, we're gonna go with these, and it comes with a lot. I don't usually get binders, but if I did, I'd probably get these one inch ones just because they're smaller. I don't like ones that take up a lot of space. This one with the stripes is really cute though. And I like the inside, it has polka dots and it's gold. These five star notebooks are also really good. These are usually what I use because they're five subjects. I could fit literally all my classes in one. This color is really nice too. I'm not taking that many classes this year that I would need to take notes for. I'm taking like a lot of drawing classes, painting classes. So I probably only need like one notebook for my art history class, which I will be taking notes in. So I'm not gonna get the big notebook this year. These pencil boxes are pretty cute. They feel like they're, I don't know, they're like squishy. They're cute though, I kind of like these. This one is cute. Whoa, and look at these highlighters. Are they like two colors? Look at these, you can get one of those like satisfying things, but they're rulers. I, don't, I have acrylics, so it's not satisfying for me, but it feels nice when I have my nails off. Ooh, these rulers are actually really cool though. I don't need a ruler, but they're like triangle, see? I also usually get a couple folders just so I could organize my papers and all of that stuff. Which color should I get? I like the paper ones. Whoa, look at this. That's new. Kind of like the pink one. I want it without this design though. I could get a planner too, but I usually don't use them. I'll use them for like the beginning of the year and then after a while I'll just stop and forget about it. So I don't think I'm gonna get one this year. I'll probably just stick to my notebook and write lists. But yeah, cause they're kind of expensive. Okay, I think I'm gonna get these two. I really like this color. Do I need scissors though? Not really. Okay, I won't get these, but these are really cute. This color is so nice. I don't really like any of these. I used to get like this kind all the time where it's flat and it can go in your binder, but these look really nice. I kind of like these, how they're like, oh, there's a lot going on in there. Maybe not. Not like this. I don't want a pencil box like this and I don't need a sketchbook. I already have one ready for the next semester. These are the best colored pencils, by the way, the Prismacolor. I don't have this set, but I have two others. They're just the best. They're so good quality. All right, so this is what I have so far. It's so colorful, I love it. I think this is everything I'm gonna get, but I'll let you guys know if I find something else. I'm gonna keep looking, but I don't think I need anything else. I almost got these, but I really don't need any more highlighters. I can't decide if I need white out. I usually would get these because the liquid one is a little bit harder to use and I feel like it doesn't look as good. The thing is I use pen more than anything so like white out would be really useful. I think I'm going to get a few more of these drawer organizers. They're only $2 and they come with three. I think these would be really good to organize my school and art supplies. That size would be good but I want them white. This size. Yeah, okay, we'll do these. That was successful. I ended up spending $80. I did grab a few more things though. That wasn't just school supplies. I am 
exhausted. I don't know why, but every time I go to Target, it wears me out. Like, that was a long trip. I spent probably an hour and a half in there. I got a lot of good stuff at Target. I'm super excited. I think I'm gonna do a back to school supplies haul in an upcoming video. So I'll show you guys everything I ended up getting today. And I'm redoing my apartment right now. If you guys missed my last video, definitely check that out because I'm finally getting everything set up. So as I said, I'm gonna be doing a back to school supplies haul soon in a separate video with all of the stuff that I got and all the stuff that I'm gonna be using next semester. It ended up being another expensive trip as always, but I didn't just get school supplies. I had a couple other things to pick up. So that's why the total was $80. Everything's just so expensive. I literally started doing these videos like my sophomore year of high school, which is so crazy. And now I'm going into my senior year of college. I have so many back to school videos planned, but I still have like a month of summer left. I'm definitely gonna keep doing summer videos. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am also so incredibly grateful that this is my job and that I get to film for you guys and talk to you all. I say it all the time, but this wouldn't be possible without you guys. I wake up every day and I'm so grateful that I have this amazing audience and these opportunities and this job. Um, so I will see you guys soon. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Let me know in the comments what grade you guys are going into. I told you guys I'm going into my senior year of college. Also make sure to follow my other social medias. I've been updating my Instagram and TikTok and Pinterest of the things that I've been doing recently and all of that stuff. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for watching and watching until the end. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Mwah.